Join me on a journey to embrace your Cavella life. Hi friends, thanks so much for joining me. My name is Rachel. Welcome to your yin practice. So if you're ready, let's come to our feet. Standing at the top of our mat, we're going to take our 15 minute warm up and then slowly move into our yin practice. So bringing the feet together, Coming into Tadasana, Mountain Pose. Let's roll the shoulders back. Start to ground the feet. Maybe close the eyes or keep the gaze straight ahead. Turn the palms out to the sides, starting to open up the shoulders. Just coming into our practice today. Start to really lift the torso out of the hips, lengthen through the spine, crown to the sky. Start to connect with the breath, inhaling through the nose and exhaling out the nose. Slowly start to float the arms up overhead. Bring the palms together. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, this time coming into a forward fold, bend the knees, bring those palms to the ground, let the head hang. Inhale, flat back, bringing the palms to the front of the shins or keeping them grounded. Exhale, bend those knees, start to slowly roll up through the spine. Inhale, float the arms up, lift and lengthen. Exhale, press those hips forward, coming into a gentle back bend. Exhale, hands to heart. Two more just like that, warming up the body. Inhale, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Rolling all the way up. Inhale. Lift and lengthen first, ground through the feet, exhale, back bend. Hands to heart, inhale up, exhale, forward fold. Use that breath, inhale, exhale, roll. Nice fluid movements. Make it feel good on the body. Inhale, exhale. Hands to heart. Inhale up, exhale. Adding on here. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Step that right foot, left foot coming into your high plank. So remember, you can always modify grounding the knees, the forearms. So do what feels good for you. Check in with the alignment, stacking the shoulders over the wrists. Start to really draw that navel to the spine, engaging the core. Press the heels away. Press that ground away, really pressing through the palms, opening up that upper back. Nice, long neck, gaze towards the top of your mat. 
waking up every muscle in the body here. Building that internal heat. Breathe, push the breath all the way down to the toes. And then let's lower the knees, the chest, the chin. Coming all the way down onto the belly. Take the palms outside the chest, elbows to the sky. Legs are together, point the toes. Inhale, start to peel the chest up. Bring the elbows nice and close to the side body. Exhale. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, press the palms, tabletop, tuck the toes, downward facing dog, lift the hips up to the sky, let the head just hang, pedal the heels, bend the knees, move the hips, take whatever movements you need here. And then maybe come in to find stillness in your down dog. Lifting the hips to the sky. Let the sternum drop. Two deep breaths. Start to draw the shoulder blades down the back. Lower the heels down towards the ground. Gazing past the knees. And then from here, we're just going to float from high plank back to our downward facing dog. So feel free to hold if you don't want to float back and forth. So just opening up those shoulders, the upper back. Take your time moving nice and slow. High plank, down dog, high plank, down dog, one more time, high plank, down dog, holding here in your down dog. And let's walk the feet coming back to the top of your mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Rolling all the way up. Float the arms. Lift and lengthen. Exhale, back bend. Hands to heart. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, chair pose, Utkatasana. Sink those hips sitting nice and low. Unshrug the shoulders. Big arms, dive it down. Forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Walk, step, or float the feet. High plank. Knees, chest, chin, take it down. Inhale. Heel the chest, baby cobra. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Tabletop, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Two breaths here. Use that breath to go deeper, to start to relax the body. Walk the feet. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold back to chair pose. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, Utkatasana chair. Big arms, dive it down, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. 
Exhale, fold, walk, step or float. Find your high plank. If you're ready, chaturanga. Or knees, chest, chin. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, roll through the feet, down dog. Adding on here, right leg floats up to the sky for three-legged dog. Bend that right knee, start to stack the hip. Let that right foot hang heavy. Square the shoulders to the ground. Let that left heel drop closer to the ground. Knee to chest, step through for a low lunge, grounding that left knee. Sweep the arms. Exhale, sink the hips. Gazing up. Three breaths here. Big arms, open up, frame that right foot. Tuck the left toes, come back to your three-legged dog. Right leg up to the sky. Stretch it out. Exhale, right foot meets, left foot down dog. Option to hold here or flow through high plank. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Left leg floats up, three-legged dog. Bend the knees, stack the hip. Keep those shoulders square to the ground. Left foot hangs heavy. Right heel drops down closer to the ground. Let the chest drop. Left knee to chest, step through, low lunge. Inhale, sweep those arms. Exhale, sink the hips. Gaze up, three breaths. Big arms. Frame the left foot. Left leg to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, down dog, hold here or high plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Two breaths. Slowly, let's float the knees down to the ground. Exhale, find your extended child's pose. So hips sink to the heels. Extend the arms forward. Let the chest drop to the thighs. Forehead down to the ground, stimulating that third eye. Dive intuition. Take the arms nice and wide. Take the knees wide if that feels good. So slowing down, coming into our yin practice. Let's just come back to the present moment. Slowing things down. Just take a moment here to reconnect with yourself, your body. Letting go of anything that no longer serves you, anything that's going on in the mind, just start to let it go. Maybe notice where you might be holding any tension, resistance, or negative energy in the body. And 
Start to push the breath to those areas of the body that need a little bit more attention today, extra love. With each inhale, start to take in positive energy, positive thoughts. With each exhale, letting go of that negative energy, any negativity, stress, start to let it go. From here, so we're going to come right into our first posture. Start to float up onto the knees. Maybe move slightly towards the back of the mat, stacking the hips over the knees, shoulders over the wrists, knees or hips width apart. Coming in for melting hearts. So we're going to start to focus on the upper body first, the shoulders, the upper back, the chest. Start to walk the palms forward, the arms forward, maintaining the hips over the knees. Keep the elbows, the forearms off the ground if you can. And then slowly start to lower the chest. So take this really slow. Don't rush into the poses. Don't rush out. We're going to hold here for a couple of minutes so you have time. So we're searching for that edge, that point of resistance, tension, maybe even discomfort, but never pain. When you find that edge, stay there, hold, and just breathe. Use your breath. Allow your body to surrender. Make more space. Body will do the work. You just have to breathe, relax. So from here, you can lower the forehead down to the ground. Or for more, more of a challenge, keep the gaze towards the top of your mat, lowering the chin down. So just do what's right for you. You might feel this in the shoulders, the upper back, the armpits, the arms. And that's right where you should be feeling it.
Inhaling through the nose and exhaling out the nose. Let's slowly start to make our way out of this pose, releasing. Start to slowly bring the forearms down, the elbows down, the chest. Take the arms alongside the body, palms facing up, and just turn the head towards the right, resting on that left ear. Let the shoulders fall towards the ground. Let the entire body just go limp. Let go. Stop holding on. Just let your entire body just melt into the mat. Coming to center with the head, just turn to the opposite direction, just evening out, a little neck stretch here, ground that right ear. And are you in practice? We give the muscles a break. It's all about those connective tissues, the fascia opening up the joints. And then slowly turn the head back to center. We're gonna float the arms forward. Palms facing down. Coming into our next shoulder opener. So from here, take that left arm out in T, palm facing down. Take that right palm to the ground outside, the right side of the chest. Start to roll onto your left side body. From here, maybe bend the right knee. So this is all about that left front shoulder. Start to roll a little bit more, rolling on to the back, opening up the chest to the sky. You can take that right palm to the right thigh. So if your head feels a little funny or your neck, you can always use a blanket or a block for support. And keep the head grounded. If you're really open here, you can float that right arm up to the sky and then reach around for that other palm, interlacing the fingers. So here, just take your time, breathe. Just focusing on opening up the chest, the left shoulder. Stay with that nice, deep, steady breath. Don't hold the breath.
little by little as that tension resistance starts to lessen just maybe inch a little bit deeper Try to go a little bit deeper before we release. Nice deep inhale through the nose. Exhale, let it go. And slowly let's start to come out of the pose, rolling back onto the belly take that right palm for support take it really slow here rolling back onto the belly and take both arms out in front above the head super girl arms palms facing down forehead touches and just notice how that left arm shoulder feels compared to the right. And then let's just switch sides. When you're ready, take that right arm out in T, palm facing down. Left palm comes outside that left side, the chest, and then roll on to your right side. Bend the left knee. Keep opening up that chest to the sky. Feel that right front shoulder opening up. listen to your body option to take that left palm to the right palm interlace the fingers if you did that on the opposite side maybe try it on this side Stay with that breath. Close the eyes. Just relax here.
inch by inch, go a little deeper. trying to roll on to the back going deeper into that right shoulder deep inhale through the nose and exhale let it go let's slowly start to Make our way back, floating that left palm down. Slowly start to roll onto the belly. Forehead touches. Take the arms out in front. Palms facing down and just stay here for a couple of seconds, just letting yourself come back to center. And from here, we're going to come into our next yin posture. Coming in for a sphinx pose. So start to walk the forearms onto the mat. Stack the shoulders over the elbows. Take the legs, maybe mats with. So we're shifting our focus to the lower back, the lower spine. Yeah. Try to relax the shoulders, the jaw, the upper body, the face. Check in with the legs. Make sure you're not clenching any muscles, the glutes. Try to 
Just let the whole body go limb, try to relax. Take any pressure out of the palms, the forearms. Most of your weight is in the elbows, the pelvis area. And keep the gaze straight ahead or close the eyes. Nice long neck. As you settle in here, just think about puffing the chest forward and lifting through the crown. And just notice the different sensations you feel in the lower back. So maybe a little compression here, and that's right where you should feel it. Again, just check in with the glutes. Make sure you're not clenching, relax. It's all about the lower back. here. If you've been practicing a while and you want to go a little deeper, you can transition into seal from here or just hold in sphinx pose. If you'd like to transition into seal, start to float the elbows up and the forearm, forearms off the ground. And just notice where those sensations shift, maybe towards the middle of the back. Again, go through that little checklist. Make sure the shoulders didn't creep up towards the ears. Relax the jaw, the face. Relax through the legs. Puff the chest forward, lengthen through that crown. Close the eyes and just let go. That seal gets too intense. Just slowly make your way back to Sphinx Pose. the breath. Stay with that nice, deep, steady breath.
deep inhale and exhale and slowly start to lower the forearms the elbows come back to space pose and slowly let that chest drop come all the way down take the palms outside the chest elbows to the sky pressing into the palms let's find our extended child's pose so take it extra slow take your time getting here stretch everything out let those hips slowly make their way to the heels Just take some nice deep breaths here. Reaching through the fingertips. And slowly start to make your way back up to tabletop. Maybe coming slightly towards the center of your mat. Find your alignment, stacking the shoulders over the wrists, hips over the knees. And let's just take a couple of cat cows here. Start to let the belly drop, gaze up, tuck the toes. Exhale, round through the spine. Draw the chin towards the chest, navel to spine. Just move at your own pace with your own breath here. Maybe take four rounds of cat-cow. then find that neutral spine when you're ready and tuck the toes let's find our high plank and from here option to just go right into down dog or if you want to flow through a chaturanga dandasana inhale upward facing dog Exhale, down dog. And shifting our focus to the lower body, the hips, the hamstrings, the glutes. We're going to float that right leg up to the sky, three-legged dog. Bend the knees, stack the hip. And then from here, Draw the knee into the chest, and we're going to come right into our pigeon pose. So right knee floats towards that right wrist. Right foot starts to walk towards the left wrist. So remember, if pigeon pose is too intense in the knees, you can modify coming on to the back. So from here, before you go right into your pigeon pose, extending the left leg back, make sure not to 
kind of collapse into that right hip. You want to stay nice and lifted. Eventually, that right shin will be parallel with the top of your mat. So that is something I'm still working towards. So don't feel like you have to be there. Staying nice and lifted, really lengthen through the spine, maybe coming into a little baby back bend here. And then slowly exhale, coming into a forward fold. So maybe you stay in the palms or maybe stack those forearms. So this is all about opening up that right hip. So again, we're gonna stay here for a couple of minutes. So take your time easing into the pose. Don't rush. Stay connected with your body. Maybe rest the forehead on the wrists. This is a pretty intense hip opener. Use that breath. You want to go a little deeper. You can play with the arm position, maybe extending the arms out in front, bringing the hands into prayer, taking the forehead down to the ground. Or feel free to just stay right where you are. want to go for maybe a twist here extend that right arm out in front thread the left arm underneath the right arm starting to settle down on that left shoulder the left ear grounds extending the right arm overhead Gets really intense, feeling it in the glute, the front, the quad. You can even go for a bind, wrapping that right arm around the lower back, reaching for the right foot, the big toe. 
and then slowly starting to turn that chest to the sky, peeling the shoulder open. So there's a lot of places you can go. Just make sure you're staying, keeping that focus on the hips. If you're in that twist, slowly make your way back to center. And just staying here. Walking up onto the palms. Let's take that left leg and float it around, extending it out in front. I'm going to come into a forward fold here. So taking that right foot into the left thigh, flexing that left foot, sitting up nice and tall. Inhale, float the arms up. Exhale, coming into a forward fold, reaching for the left toes or the ankle or the shins. Just take this wherever you can. Let that chest drop to the left thigh, maybe forehead to knee. Keep those Sits bones grounded, connecting you. To the earth. Start to walk the hands up, that left leg. From here, sweep that left leg around. Coming back into your pigeon. And we're just gonna transition our way back to our plank pose. Tuck the left toes, step that right foot back. Take your chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, down dog. And pedal the heels, bend the knees here, move the hips. Walk out your dog. And then finding stillness, let's float that left leg up to the sky. So just Taking that same thing to the opposite side, bend that left knee, stack the hip. And then into pigeon, left knee to left wrist, left foot over to the right wrist. Slide that right leg behind you. Shimmy that shin parallel with the top of your mat. Lifted lengthen. 
exhale, forward fold. Feel free to just take whatever arm position feels good for you. Maybe repeating what you did on the other side, just balancing out the body here. Remember to breathe that nice, deep, steady breath. Taking this opportunity not only to take care of your physical body, but also your mind. A lot of times we store a lot of negative emotions in the hips. The body stores things and take this time to release and let go. Anything that's weighing you down, just give yourself permission to let it go. Making room for a positive energy, positive thoughts. All good things to come your way. If you went for the twist on the opposite side, maybe repeat that on this side, extending that left arm. Thread that right arm underneath, coming on to the right shoulder, the right ear. Feel that deep glute stretch. Maybe go for the bind, wrapping that left arm around the lower back, reaching for the big toe or the foot. Feel that chest and shoulders open to the sky.
twist when you're ready slowly make your way back to center to walk back up onto the forearms, the palms, and then from here let's float that right leg around, taking that left foot into the right thigh. Big inhale out, flex the right foot. Exhale, forward fold. Deep inhale through the nose. Exhale, sinking breath. Let the chest drop closer to the thigh, forehead to the knee. palms of that right leg coming back to seated sweep that right leg back finding your pigeon pose tuck the right toes high plank chaturanga inhale upward facing exhale down dog Float the knees down to the ground. Exhale, child's pose. Float the arms alongside the body, palms facing up. Let the spine round, let that forehead touch. Just coming into a little ball here. Inhale, slowly float up to seated. Extending the legs out, bend the knees. Reach the arms forward, palms facing the sky, round that spine. Start to slowly roll all the way down onto the back. Hug those knees into the chest. Give yourself a big hug. And 
slowly release the shoulders, the head, the neck. Coming in for a happy baby, take the arms inside the thighs, peace sign fingers wrap around the big toes, flex the soles of the feet, draw the knees closer to the ground. Maybe rock from side to side, massaging the lower back. Maybe extend through the knees. Bring the soles of the feet together, release that yogi toe grip. Float the arms overhead, let those knees drop to the ground, coming into Saptabhata Kanasana, butterfly pose. Close the eyes. Feel free to stay right here if this feels good for you or whenever you're ready, transition into Shavasana, our final posture, the most important posture of our practice, most challenging, challenging us to find stillness in the body and mind, extending both legs out, Open the arms, palms to the sky. Feel really open here. Let the entire body relax, melting into the earth.
Feel free to stay in your Shavasana as long as you'd like, gaining all the wonderful benefits it provides. If you'd like to join me in closing out your practice, start to bring your awareness back. Bring some movement into the toes, the fingers, the hands, the feet. Bend the knees, inhale the arms up overhead. And just make your way onto your right side, coming into a fetal position, taking some deep breaths there. to make your way back up to a comfortable seated position. Roll the shoulders back, sitting up nice and tall. Close the eyes and closing out our practice with three cleansing breaths, inhaling through the nose, exhaling out the mouth. Big inhale through the nose. Exhale, let it go. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale out. Exhale. Thank you so much for joining me. And thank yourself for your beautiful practice. May you always have peace in your heart, peace in your words, and peace in your mind. Have a beautiful day. Namaste. I hope you enjoyed your journey today. If you would like to see new classes, please remember to subscribe like, visit our website at cavellalife.com. Become a member on our Patreon account. By becoming a member, it allows us to create new classes. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Cavella Life. Thank you so much. Namaste.